Oh, I don't have my microphone. Hold on, love. Hiya. Hello, angels. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Emma Tamsin Hill. Thank you for joining me today. Oh my god, guys! It's been so long since I've actually sat in front of my big camera and filmed a video. This feels weird. But today I thought I would come back and do a little chat to get ready with me for you guys because we haven't done a video like this in ages. And I've changed my makeup routine. I'm using some new products and a lot of you are asking me to do an updated makeup routine. So here I am. Shall we just get straight into it? So I did moisturise and do my skincare before but I'm gonna go in again with some prep. Everything I'm using will be linked in the description box and I will kind of talk you through like the techniques I'm doing but I also just wanna catch up and like talk about life with you guys. So this is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. I just like to prep my skin with skincare really, moisturizer, serum, oil, that kind of vibe because I do have dry skin and I want my makeup to look glowy and healthy. Whilst I do my base, I'm gonna clip my hair back because it's gonna get in the way and annoy me. This doesn't look cute. It doesn't look like, you know like when the girlies do it and they look really cute, it's not doing that for me. Okay, I can cope with that. Also gonna do a bit of lip balm. This is the Dior Lip Glow Oil. I love a lip oil. I'm not gonna lie though, I like the Clarins one better than this one. They're both as good as each other, but this is more expensive and they're basically the same thing. I have been busy. I've been away from YouTube for what feels like forever. I can't even remember the last time I did a haul, but obviously a haul should be already up by now because this should be going up after the haul, the next haul. Um, I have been traveling a lot in June. June was a very busy month for me, I went away quite a bit. Well, I went away twice, but that's enough, isn't it? I was away for half the month, pretty much. By the way, this is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is the shade Salzburg, because I have a bit of a tan, but usually I'll use Duvel. I like it just as much as the Radiant Longwear. They're both pretty much on par to me. Radiant Longwear has more coverage than this one, but I just, I'm a NARS foundation whore. Like, I think it'll take a lot for me to stray from NARS foundations, because I just think they're the best. So I've been traveling a lot in June. I went to Morocco at the beginning of the month. July the 3rd when I'm filming this. Hopefully this should be up next week. I went to Morocco. Obviously you've seen that vlog already. I went to Malta. That vlog should be up on my channel already. And Morocco, no, because I'm getting the foundation in my hair. It's annoying me. This is why I always put my hair up when I do my makeup but you know I wanted to look cute for you guys so I went to a wellness retreat in Morocco that was lovely like that was really good for my soul my soul needed that I love Morocco it's a beautiful place and then basically I went to DLT Malta which was like a festival there was like Wizkid performing there was Kay Trinada, Shensia, Rema you know a bunch of incredible artists so that was in Malta, so that was like a party holiday. That was a mad holiday, but I loved every minute of it. It was just nice to spend time with my friends who I haven't seen in a really, really long time um, and just let loose a bit, go a bit wild. Then also in the process of all of that, in May, I was launching my new business called Ridge Print, which is basically like kind of an extension of all body. It's basically a bespoke print and embroidery business. So like if anything you need clothing wise, printed and embroidered, my business does that now so we're doing a lot of small businesses also like personalized stuff like for your kids or for hen do's weddings that kind of vibe we're doing all of that i'll put the link in the description in case anyone is interested in that but um yeah we're doing a lot for small businesses around where i live currently but obviously we have a website with stuff that you can get bespoke made i made the website myself and i am actually so proud of it i am not a web designer guys but I, I think I went in with the website. I think it looks really good, I'm not gonna lie. I've just been busy like launching that new business and then I went away for a bit and now I'm back and it's time to get focused with everything all over again. This is the Maybelline um, Age Rewind Eraser Concealer. I do really like this. I don't know what shade this is in. This one's quite an old one, but I don't know, I just really like this concealer. I, nowadays, I just put a bit under the hip, my eye here can I talk? I put a bit under my eye here and then a bit like that. Give it a chisel. And I was using a concealer brush to blend in, especially under my eyes, but it's dirty right now. I need to wash it. So that's why I'm using my beauty blender. 
Oh, this concealer is really nice. Definitely. I have just been really busy, like sorting stuff out, traveling, all of that. So YouTube kind of fell on the back burner a bit, which I'm really sorry for you guys. I just wasn't that organized and I needed to stay focused. So that's what I was doing. So nowadays I double up on concealers and bronzers, like cream bronzer. So I do that concealer, then I'll go in with Fenty Cream Bronzer. This is Butter Biscuit. It's nearly finished, I really like this stuff. And I'll use my hand and I'll put that on my cheekbones, around my forehead, a little bit under my nose, because I don't really need to contour my nose because it's quite small anyway, so I don't really do that. But yeah, on these areas, depending on how I'm feeling, I'll either go in with my sponge or like a dense brush. This is the Zoeva Silk Finish 102. I do like this, I like to go like this. Just sort of buffing but i'm gonna use this today because i just feel like with it's like when it's a bit wet you can really blend out nicely i feel like my makeup is gonna turn out really cute today i can feel it in my bones especially now i've got a bit of a tan like i just feel like i feel like myself when i have a bit of a tan even though i'm pale all the time like when i have a tan i just feel like it's who i should be you know what i mean also i'm wearing lashes guys i've got lash extensions i got these done for malta I kind of love them. I just had them redone yesterday by my friend. My friend does them. And I'm thinking it's going to be a lash summer. Like, I used to wear lashes all the time. But because I actually don't wear a lot of makeup on a day-to-day, -day, I felt like they was looking stupid. But now, I'm like, oh, I kind of really like it. And it's making my getting ready time so much quicker. Because I just don't even need to do anything to my eyes. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the NARS Velvet Matte Foundation Stick in the shade Trinidad. I don't think they sell this anymore. I think this is discontinued. I got this at Bista Village. Last time I went, like, I got a new one because, like, I was like, I need to not lose this in my life. Because for a while, I can't remember what um, contour I was using, but, oh, I think it was a L'Oreal one, but they stopped doing it. They discontinued it. I couldn't find it anywhere. So I needed to find a new one, like, something that's creamy and blends in really nice, but it's not... I don't like a cool toned contour. I just kind of do like a, it's not really a contour, it's like a cream bronzer. I like a cream bronzer. So this is what I've always done. So um, this is actually foundation, obviously for someone not of my complexion, um, but I use it as a bronzer. So that's the shade. So it's really pigmented, so you really don't need a lot. So I'll just like do a couple dots like this. Couple on my forehead, again, under the nose and a little bit under my lip. Just like that. Um, I guess you could use any foundation stick that's like nice and creamy. It's just, I'm using this one. If you're in Bista Village, they might have it in the makeup shop still. I think it was the one like near the entrance. I've forgotten what it's called, but try and see if they still have it because it's really nice for contour. And that just makes like a beautiful shadow, but like a bronzy shadow. I also yesterday started using this, um, have you ever heard of face gym like the place that does the crazy facials if you go on my instagram or my tiktok i've done a little video like trying out their stuff because it's launched on cult beauty like there's like at home stuff you can use like a little ball and a gua sha so I've, i used that yesterday and i used it today and i think i'm never gonna stop using it because it just feels so nice like not not some of the exercises they make you do with your hands not that that actually hurts a bit when you start doing the gua sha oh, it's so relaxing and i actually used to have a gua sha but it was like a rose quartz one and I dropped it in the shower and it broke. And then I never got another one after that. So this one I've got now is metal. So I don't, well, no, it won't break. There's no way I can break that. So I might start gua shine every day again because it just feels nice. And then I look at my face and I'm like, I can actually see the difference. Like the puffiness is gone. Like I actually, I actually look like I have cheekbones. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is double up on my concealer. This is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Ivory 3. This is quite light, so I don't use a lot of it. I just dab a little bit, like there. And that's the only place I'll use it on. And it does make a difference, it brightens you up. So now I'll just take my sponge again. Do you see that? Just adds a nice little brightness. Beautiful. Now I don't know if it's a powder now or powder after, it doesn't really matter. Let's powder now. So, Anastasia, this is like a little sample size, but Anastasia, not sample, travel size. Anastasia Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I really like this. For a period of time, I was using the Fenty 
powder in the shade, oh my god, I'm so itchy. I always start itching when I come to film. I was using the Fenty powder, I can't remember what shade it's in. It might have been butter, this translucent one, I really like it. I haven't tried the Laura Mercier in a long time, so I think I need to try that again, but it's just expensive. So what I do is dip the sponge into here, the damp sponge, and obviously you get quite a lot on there. Back of your hand, pat off the excess. You're gonna use this later, so don't worry. Then with what's left on here, I press it in to my skin, so. I'll do one side and then I'll show you. So you can take the excess off here, do your forehead. Again, I have dry skin, so I only really like to powder under my eye and like my chin and places I put concealer. Okay, this side is powdered, this side is not. It's not too much, again, like I said, I don't like to bake because I have dry skin. So doing it this way just makes the powder melt into your skin, especially because this is a bit damp and your concealer might be still be a little bit wet. But you know, just takes rid of, takes rid? Gets rid of any shine. Side without powder, side with powder. Gorgeous, let's do the other side. Get right under that eye as well and drag it out. I'm acting like I'm a makeup artist, but I don't know. I don't know where I learned to, learned to do all this stuff, but I'm glad I did learn. And get the places where you might crease, around here, on your forehead, around, that's pretty much it, around your eye here. Oh, I know my makeup is gonna go good today because look at that base. I'm not even finished yet. If by this point I'm looking a bit too powdery and I don't like it, I'm looking a bit cakey, I'll just take a mist. This is just MAC Fix Plus. Any setting spray, any kind of mist, and I'll just spray that on my face. Well, I think I look quite nice, but I'm still gonna give a bit of spray. This isn't the best mist though, because I hate the sprayer. I love Fix Plus, I love the smell, I love everything about it. The sprayer on this, sometimes it can square out and then it'll make wet patches on your makeup. I hate that. Change that packaging, MAC, please. Eyebrows, so. I get questions about my eyebrows constantly. This is my eyebrows now. I don't know when the last time I got a brow wax and tint was. Let me look for you, because I was supposed to have one next week, but I had to reschedule my appointment. Last time I had a brow wax and tint was three days ago. Three days ago, am I fucking stupid? Three weeks ago was the last time I had a brow wax and tint. So this is how they look now. This is just my natural brows, there's nothing on them. I do get so many questions about my eyebrows. Shall I zoom you in for this? Let's look. This is them with nothing on, just brushed up a little bit. I don't ask for anything particular when I get my eyebrows done. This is just how they look. They're quite straight and then with a, like a subtle, subtle arch. Um, I think my eyes are quite naturally quite boom, you know what I mean? So. And I have quite a lot of lid space, so that's my eyebrows. But I'm going to show you exactly how I do them. I don't do anything crazy to them at all. Brow pencil wise, I'll flip between eyebrow pencils. I like the Urban Decay one. I like the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Not the, I think it's called the Brow Wiz. Not the one with the flat pencil. I like I like small pencils like this. Small pointed pencils that's my jam when it comes to eyebrows um so i like the urban decay one i like the anastasia one i like the morphe one i like the i do actually like the refi one that's really pigmented as well i have the refi stuff and it just doesn't do anything for me like the brow gel thing but i really like the pencil the pencil's good currently i'm using maybelline express brow ultra slim pencil in the shade medium brown so this is a nice cheap one um, and it's really good. Like I feel like with brow pencils you don't have to be get expensive ones. Like yeah they're nice but you really don't have to. Some of them can be so dry and not nice on your eyebrows but this is really nice and I'm pretty sure it's about seven, seven pound. So let me show you. So what I always do is I go in from the, from the tip here, from the front and do like a line underneath, very like faint line. like that, so we have that definition under that straight away. Then I'll bring it up and go, or I just do the bottom first, like the underneath. So we get that basic line there. Then I go in on the top, add it up, same on the top here. But again, super faint because I don't want like a big blocky outline of my eyebrow. So very faint hand, and then I just start filling in. 
I just fill in the middle and then when it gets to the front I do kind of upward motions like this and the key is to brush it through that's what I always do brush 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 and I'm not gonna lie to you that's pretty much it that is exactly what I'll do to my eyebrow that's it so that's one done one not done okay let's do the other one beautiful and you have to remember eyebrows are sisters not twins oh I don't care about them looking completely even looking perfect because it's not my portion no then I always go in with the clear brow gel. I like the Morphe clear brow gel, but currently I'm just using the Benefit 24 hour brow set and it's just a mini one. So just take that. I don't really like the coloured brow gels because I just think, well I've made it look how I want to look with the pencil. So I just want something to keep it in place. That's why I always use clear. With a tinted brow gel though, I really like the Glossier Boy Brow, but I would use that like without any pencil, like on just on a no makeup day. I really like that stuff though. What else was I talking to you guys about? Yeah, so I've got these eyelash extensions and I really like them. I feel like it's making my get ready time so quick. And then I'll probably go back to lash lifts in the winter because it's just a lot of maintenance. Like after two weeks, they start looking a bit mad, don't they? Like let's not lie to ourselves. Can you see this big pile of clothes here? I was hoping you couldn't, but I can see it in the viewfinder. It's bothering me. Anyway, they are clothes that I need to depop. <laughs> what I'm doing right now my bronzer which is NARS Laguna I had a big one and I dropped it on holiday and it smashed so sad but then I found this in my drawer I have a mini one NARS Laguna I've used this for years I love it because I don't like a bronzer with any shimmer in this might have a little bit of shimmer but nothing crazy so I take it on an eyebrow brush just a big one and I just run that through my crease and that is all I'm going to do to my eyes because I have these big eyelashes on currently, I feel like you don't have to do much to your eyes. And even if I didn't have these big eyelashes on, I'd still just do brown in the crease and then mascara. I might go mad with a wing liner. I'm loving a bit of wing liner at the moment when I don't have any eyelashes on because I think it looks really cute. Um, but I love this new one I've got from Byredo. It's like a brown liquid eyeliner. It's definitely expensive because it's Byredo. But brown liquid eyeliner, and it's really slim, the, the the tip, and it's so nice. And I'll use that like to do a wing liner and then a little beauty mark. So cute. But I'm not gonna do that today because I don't wanna wash my eyes when I just got fresh lashes. Obviously I'm gonna wash them when I take the makeup off, but not wash them. Bronzer, take this Real Techniques bronzing brush. Is it even called that? Multitask brush, three dabs. Tap, tap, you know what I mean? What I'll do is, I focus the bronzer like from here up. I'm not gonna bring it too far down because like we've already created this like kind of lifted look with the um with the cream products and I don't wanna like ruin that. So just kind of focusing it around here on my forehead, temple, and then like this area. A bit on my jaw, I don't know anything mad to my jaw because Soft jaw supremacy, you know what I mean? So even just like that little bit of powder has made a difference. It's super cute. Stunning. It's time for my favorite part. I am a blush whore. I love blush. It's my fave. So I got this quite a while ago. I think I got sent it from Cult Beauty and it's by By Terry, okay? This is not a brand I would ever really use. I've heard good things about their stuff, but it's not a brand I would reach for. But when I tell you this blush palette, it's incredible. I use it every single time I do my makeup, right? It's even rubbed off. The stuff on the back has rubbed off. Um, the last time I looked at this online, I think it was on sale. If you can get this on sale, get it. Because it's so good. I use this constantly. I must have been using it for like a year now. I've not touched pa hit pan on any of them, okay? I pretty much, I don't really use these. That's like a bronzer and a highlighter. I really only use these two, but I love them. So, has a big mirror as well. I love a palette with a mirror because then I, if I need to do my makeup on the go, at least I know I have this. So, what I will do is tap into this like peachy one and then this bright pink one. Two taps on each, tap, tap off. This is the Zoeva Lux. Looks cheek finish, one, two, three. I like these Zoeva brushes, I've had them for years. 
What I would usually do is put it on the apples and bring it out. But I'm trying something new at the moment to try and keep this lifted look. I'm kind of only putting my blush here and like meshing it into my bronzer. So. Some people don't use blush and I think, why? I think like, a lot of girls don't use blush and I think, oh, I just love it. I think it's so beautiful and just makes you just look so warm and energized. So I'll do that and then I double triple up on blushes. I love it. So this is, I have a full size of this, but I'm currently loving using this tiny mini size that I got because I just think it's adorable. This is NARS Orgasm. I love this blush. I love Excuse me, darling. Can you stop trying to run off? I have used this blusher for years. I love it. It's the perfect coral blush with like a nice gold shimmer. You don't have to wear, you don't even have to wear highlighter with this blush because it adds that glow. So, couple taps on there, girl. Get it on the top. There's a reason why like this is one of the best selling blushes in the world because it's absolutely stunning. I also love to put blush on my nose. Just on the tip a little bit, make you look a bit red nosed. Okay, so that's the blush. That's with the blush, without the blush. Whichever you like. It's so hard not to bring it really in, but I'm just not gonna do that. There's the blush. Guys, I'm so happy to be just sat here filming with you. Can you tell it's making me really happy? We're nearly done. Like, when I tell you this makeup is, is not anything spectacular, it's just good products, good technique. I feel like a real mua. I'm a makeup artist now. Little bit of highlighter, Fenty Beauty. Mean Money Hustler Baby. Okay, it's the Hustler Baby shade that I use. This one, couple taps. Boom, boom. What brush is this? Oh, it's a Morphe M510. Just here. Up, onto the temple, under the brow. Just that, like I don't, I don't go OTT on highlighter like we used to back in 2016 because we don't need that now. I feel like everyone's pretty much over that. I mean, I love the girlies that go overboard because I'm like, you look incredible. But for my kind of makeup, I don't feel like it's necessary right now. I might even go over it a bit with my sponge, tone it down a bit. I feel quite pretty. Okay, we're gonna top it off with a spray. Elf! Stay all day blue light micro setting mist. I think I got sent this with some package. I sound such an asshole right now. I just get sent this. <laughs> I would not choose to buy this myself. Like, it's not like, oh, I need that right now. I just got to send it. Um, so my favorite setting spray is definitely the Charlotte Tilbury. I love that. I've run out of it. I need a new bottle. This, it is what it is. It fit, it's fit for purpose, but it's not something that I'm like, yeah, you need it. Whereas a lot of the other makeup that I use, I'm like, yeah, that's sick. So I just like to end with a mist always. You know, one thing I do love about this though, the mister. Look at the mister, right? Super seamless. Like it doesn't make you wet. Like it's just, that's one thing I really like about it. Fabulous. Fucking hell, girl. It's looking nice. I washed my hair on Thursday, right? Um, it's looking greasy already. It's Sunday today. It's looking greasy, darling. And I can't help it. Guys, no, you've seen my hair, haven't you? I got my hair dyed in February. I got a balayage. But I don't know if you've seen it, like, up close. I love it, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's just, yeah, I like it a lot. Obviously, my brown hair was my natural hair colour. This still is my natural hair colour, all here. But I've had this blonde put through it, and I just think it looks, it just looks right. It just looks like who I should be. Yeah, absolutely. Oh shit, we've not done, we'll do the lips after I do my hair, okay? I'm gonna go in with a bit of dry shampoo because greasy hair gal problems, you know what I mean? Now, let me introduce you to my new best friend. 
This is a blow dry brush. I got it on Amazon. I think it's about 25 pound. There's a Revlon one that everyone has, but this is like a no branded one. Actually, no, there is a brand. It's called Air Besser. But it's just a blow dry brush and I've been loving this. This is what's giving me the smooth salon look. So when I washed my hair on Thursday, I dried it with this. Like I let it dry a little bit, then probably let it dry like 40%, then used this on it. And it stayed this, it stayed this good for like, how, how many days is that? Three days? Like, yeah, it's a bit greasy, but there's no frizz. Like it's just smooth. Oh, it's time to do a be real. Hold on, guys. So, what I will do now, because I want my hair to be judged up again, I'm going to use this, but only to add a bit of volume in. So, I'm going to add a bit of a flick to the bottom. So, let me show you. It's going to be loud, okay? Prepare. Headphone users, prepare. Hold it. Can you see that? That's a bit of bounce, a bit of life. But what I really like to use it for is my root because I have fine hair and she is flat. She doesn't like volume. So, take a bit of hair. Are we seeing the vision? Come on now. Judge it up, baby. So that's really all I'm going to do. Same on the other side. Done. No, but one more trick I will show you, right, is take these, if you have hair in your middle part in, take these bits here. Go under like this. Come on now. Oh my God. Salon blow dry at home. She's not an ad. I just like it. To finish that off, I'll put a bit of oil in, like an Olaplex oil, but I don't have it here right now and I can't be asked to go and find it. So, I'll just leave it. Fuck it, let's do something. Let's do a bit of Lee Stafford Shine Spray. Go on, girl. Get it in your gill. I need to stop quoting things on the internet. Can we see how cute this hair clip is? It's from H&M. Adorable. Oh yeah, lips. I always forget about that. Now, I'm a lip gloss, lip gloss with it. Now, I'm a lip gloss girl through and through. I love lip gloss. So, I don't know which one I'm gonna use today. I think I know what I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna tell you about some of the other ones that I love. So, my favourite liner, I'm not going to lie to you, I wish I was chatting shit. Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. And I say I wish I was chatting shit because this liner is like £22. Obviously it's not this big, it's like this big, but I've used all of it. I love this liner. I've had it ever since like I was went to uni and I will continue to rebuy it. It's just painful, like spending £22 on a pencil. This liner, Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. Fuck pillow talk. All about Iconic Nude. It's very matte, so if you're a lip overliner, this is good because it's kind of seamless, you can't tell. I still have a little bit of lip balm on, so it's okay though. You aren't going to be able to actually see the true colour of this, because when your lips are dry dry, you can really see it. We do a bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. One of my new favourite lip glosses is this Pat McGrath gloss. It's called Faux Real. I really like it. It's this beautiful brownie nude. I'm going to put it on for you. Again, this is expensive. But I'm going to show you some of my other favourite lip glosses. Kind of worth the money though because look how beautiful this is. It feels gorgeous on as well. Now another trick that I've been doing recently. After I've done my lip liner and my gloss, I go in with a dark brown lip liner over the top. Now, if I put this on beforehand, it would be too dark for me. But when I put it on after, because of the lip gloss, it sort of just melts all in together because it subdues it a bit. This is the 1999 
precise color pencil in the shade what shade is this oh it's called barna i like this you this is a multi-purpose pencil i've used it on my eyes you can use it on your lips you can use it on your eyebrows anyway look can you see how dark that is though it's kind of like a mac cork vibe Obviously the pencil gets full of gloss and you have to clean it, but it's giving that dark line on the outside, but like a bit more subdued. I did this the other day uh, in these pictures that I uploaded and people are like, you've done something different with your makeup, like it looks really good. Kind of gives that lip filler look without actually having lip fillers. Some of my other favourite lip glosses, NYX Butter Gloss. I love this stuff. I love the shade Matilda, I love the shade... Um, praline creme brulee that's this one it's a beautiful pink these are just the ultimate glosses they are probably i say my favorite lip gloss like if, if you they said to me you can only use one lip gloss for the rest of your life it would be these nyx butter glasses i love them also love the fenty beauty lip glosses i've got fussy but i also have the cream one i forgot how much shade that that is but the cream ones are really nice and obviously these have shimmer in love it though kiko glosses Kiko glosses are the best. I'm saying they're all the best, but these are all my favourites. I think they're all they're all my children. All these bitches is my sons, you know what I mean? So, 3D Hydro Lip Gloss. I love the shade number five. This is number four. Number one is like a clear, I think. And there's like number two, which is a super glittery. This is like a super glittery pink. Look at it. Stunning. And they all these glosses are not sticky. They feel really nice. And finally, a new favourite for me is these Maybelline Lifter Glosses. They've got hyaluronic acid in. They're really nice. This is like a brown one. What's the shade? It doesn't have a shade. Okay. Anyway, I've got this one and I've got like a light pink with a shimmer. These are really nice as well. So we have options for all budgets here. Now, finally, I just want to talk to you about another makeup product that if I'm say well I'm gonna go out a bit later on but if I was gonna go out right now I would just take this <laughs> I would take my sponge and I would take this this is the hourglass ambient lighting powder this is the um trio but I only use one colour out of it I use the colour soft light which is this one this I fucking love it so you can just take it, this is the hourglass brush as well. So I take it with this pointed side like this. Put it under my eyes. This is all I used to touch up and it makes you look so flawless. It's like a blurring powder. I don't know how it does it, but it makes you look fucking flawless. I'm not gonna lie. So if I'm gonna touch up, this is what I touch up with. And that is it. That's my face. I realized we were supposed to have a chit chat um, catch up and I feel like I didn't really talk that much about me. But, you know, I gave you the little 411 of what's been happening in my life. I am going to be back super soon with more hauls, more vlogs, more everything. Please let me know down below what you want to see from me. I feel like we haven't done that in ages where you guys tell me what you actually want to see from me. So please leave some comments down below of what you want to see from me if you made it this far. And I'll try my best to incorporate that into the uploads. But for now, hauls, vlogs all of that fun stuff. I'm going on a few more trips this summer. I'm probably going to Amsterdam and then I'm going on a cruise at the end of August to Italy and France. So the travel vlogs won't be stopping anytime soon. But yeah, I'll probably be doing some more all body vlogs because I'm relaunching all body soon and just filling you guys in on what's been happening there. Obviously we've been gone for a long time. So I'm gonna let you all in on that. So thank you so much for watching if you got this far, hopefully you got some tips for my little makeup tutorial and I will see you very very soon with a new video. Okay guys, love you so much. Bye.